Hey guys, so today we're making some baked mac and cheese. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So we have one box of elbow macaroni that we just cooked, maybe one or two minutes less than what the box says. And then we added in half a stick of butter, and then we're adding in some all-purpose seasoning. Um, next, my husband is adding in some evaporated milk. I do highly suggest putting your cheese in first. Um, my husband think he, <laughs> he think he is chef, so he was doing his own thing right here. But you wanna put your cheese in first so that you don't add too much milk. And so next we're gonna add in one can of cheddar cheese soup. This adds great flavor and it helps to keep the macaroni nice and creamy. And then we're adding in our cheeses. So we use some sharp cheddar cheese, some white cheddar, some mozzarella, some smoked gouda, and some parmesan cheese, but you can use whatever cheeses you want. And then we're gonna stir this together. And so we are gonna add a few cubes of cheese um, because we freshly grated the other cheese and then we just cubed up a few of those. And this is gonna make it nice and cheesy, you guys. And make sure you season your macaroni as you're stirring it up because we don't want no bland food, y'all. And so next, um, we're adding in one egg that was mixed with a little bit of milk. And make sure you taste for seasonings before you add your egg. You can add two eggs if you want a firmer macaroni and cheese. And so we're just gonna stir this together. So this part is optional, but we are adding in about a teaspoon of sugar. It's not gonna make the macaroni sweet. It is um, just gonna balance out the flavors. And so this is us adding in a little bit more milk. And my husband and I had a little debate about whether or not it needed more milk. And in the end, I won, of course. And so we added a total of three cans of evaporated milk. Next, you're gonna grease your pan and then add half of your macaroni mixture to that. And then you're gonna top it with uh, some shredded cheese. And then you're gonna pour the other half of your mixture and then top the rest with some cheese. And so after that, we are going to uh, sprinkle some paprika on top for color and some uh, parsley flakes. And then you're gonna bake it in the 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until the top is brown. And so this is what our macaroni looks like after about 30, 35 minutes. Let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And this is so nice and creamy and cheesy, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, and so we're just gonna put it on the plate. I served this with some oxtails, some rice and peas, and some cabbage and plantains. But this was really delicious, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.